You're watching KOCO5. Live, local, late breaking. This is KOCO5 News at 6 o'clock in high definition. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, I, I thought, no, nah, he's not going to get away with this. I'm going after him. A woman refuses to let the suspects robbing her get away. Good evening, I'm Jessica Shambach. Paul has the evening off. Police say the robbery started at a bus stop on the southwest side and continued in a Walmart down the street. KOCO's Dave Detling is live now with how the victims stood up for themselves. Dave. Hey, good evening, Jess. Well, we are talking about two very strong women. Police say this all started yesterday afternoon at this bus stop. One of the victims, a cook, the other, a grandmother. They tell me they weren't about to let men half their age rob another woman. My instinct just told me to get up and, you know, start walking away. Crystal Ferrick's intuition kicked in while sitting at this bus stop Wednesday afternoon. Police say she escaped this trio who were about to rob her. Looking at my purse, I, I just felt, you know, I felt weird. I felt the vibe that. That vibe forced her to follow the suspects to this Walmart and call 911. Inside the store, police say two of the suspects targeted another woman. And she was going to go get some Christmas wrapping paper, and all of a sudden, I felt this man start pulling on my daughter's purse. But Jeannie Falconer was the wrong grandma to mess with. She says there was a struggle and then a foot chase after this blonde suspect. I was running this. Fast as I could to get behind. I was behind him. Uh -huh. He's young. You know, I'm almost 65 years old, so it wasn't so easy. Falconer had no idea waiting outside would be cop cars and the trio's first victim. And were you surprised when you saw the police out there? I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. Both women glad they listened to their instincts by fighting back. You know, I thought, no, nah, he's not going to get away with this. I would do it all over again. And amazingly, no one heard in this spring of robberies. Now, as for those three suspects, all of them facing robbery charges, they remain locked up at the Oklahoma County Jail. Live on the southwest side, Dave Detling, KOCO 5 News.